If you're a mom, you probably already know that what your child eats can affect their behavior. Well, now the Center for Science and the Public Interest, or CPSI, or CSPI rather, says scientific studies prove that that's true. The nonprofit group says it reviewed two dozen scientific studies. The group says most of the studies focused on artificial colors. The objective was to look for a connection between the dye and worsening behavior in kids with ADHD. But even if your kids don't have ADHD, there's a lot to think about when you're out buying food. Angela Ardolino, the publisher of Tampa Bay Parenting Magazine, joins us now to talk about the other health implications and also how to make the best choices when we're out shopping around. And we were talking during the break about sugar and some of the things that we should watch out for. But there's a lot of debate on whether or not sugar actually makes our kids hyper. But you say either way, parents should avoid it. Absolutely. You, you want to understand that sugars, if they have too much sugar or high fructose corn syrup, they actually get super hyper and their blood sugar rises and then crashes, which then usually means they're going to be irritable, tired, and, and it's going to be difficult for them to concentrate. But on top of that, you want to avoid not only the sugars, but you want to observe, uh, Take, it, take out preservatives, additives like our artificial food colorings, um, preservatives that are found in meats and sodas, soda pop and high um, drinks that have a lot of sugar in it. Fortunately, there's drinks out there that say that they're fruit juice, but when you look at them, they're 10% fruit juice and the rest is all sugar. Those types of things make it very difficult for children to concentrate because they're not getting any vitamin intake. It's just pure sugar that they're drinking. So get that soda pop out and take out the junk food. Actually, them consuming junk Junk food actually makes it unable for them to actually get vitamins from the other food that they're taking, which then makes it hard for them to concentrate in school and behave and not be in a bad mood. But I want to go back to the additives and preservatives. You say parents need to start reading the labels on food, but you start thinking about it, and unless we're making everything from scratch, it's kind of hard to avoid that, right? It is difficult, but there are options out there. Like you said, you need to read the label. You want to avoid things like sodium ben benzoate and things like that that are preservatives or artificial colors. If it's a red or a purple color, it's not natural. Don't give it to them. And, and if you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. That's right. It's an effort, but it's an effort that will become easier and easier. And while you're doing it, teach them to also. Have them read the labels. Help them help have you help in the grocery store to pick out something that's good. Okay, I also want to go back to something that you kind of glossed over very quickly. Avoid fast food, which could be very, very tough for a lot of parents on the go. Fast food, it's really hard to find good fast food. Most of it is a preservative, something thrown together. It's not even real meat. So fast food, you really want to avoid. There are some good places out there, like Evo's that offer natural food, Panera Bread. They have fast food and it's not bad for you. So definitely try to make those your options instead of going through a McDonald's or a Burger King for dinner. Yeah, it could be a lot of work, but the payoff could be big as well. That's right. And you have to understand, if, if, there, if you've done those types of things and you're picking good foods and you still have bad behavior, go to your pediatrician. Make sure that they don't have an allergy to a food that's making them behave a certain way. Maybe there's something they need to eliminate from their diet. So it's really important for you, if you have eliminated and you've done these things and you're still having problems, go to your pe pediatrician, have them do an allergy test. Maybe there's certain foods like tomatoes or something out, milk, that's making them um, act differently. Always good advice. Thank you. And Angela's going to be back with us next week. We're going to talk about how to connect with your child. In the meantime, if you missed any of those points or you want to share the information with another parent, just go to abcactionnews.com forward slash parenting. You can also find help with a variety of parenting issues on the Tampa Bay Parenting website. That's tvparenting.com.